Hey guys, welcome to the next part of the Liverpool All Regen series and uh, the next game against Southampton here, Southampton here in the middle of November. Um, let's have a look at our team. We have Suarez and Castillo, the two uh, Spaniards up front. Uh, we also have Starfa Hasley, who hasn't started many uh, games this season. It's quite a strong team, this actually, but uh, Southampton, one of these teams who can, on their day, can they, they can beat anyone, but at the same time, they're pretty bad when they want to be as well. Um, if we look at um, Southampton's team, there are a few names you, uh, well, there's only a couple, but uh, that you may remember. I'll, um, I'll go past the obvious one for now. This guy, of course, Hugh Ritchie, who you may uh, remember if you have been watching the series for some time. He's been a uh, prominent name and he's got great stats, but he's never, I don't know, he never really quite bought the... Um, the right attitude. I don't know, he just never really hit it. I mean, he played for City for a bit, but he's been at Southampton now for like 10 years. God, really? Jesus, didn't know that. Uh, he's, he's been there for ages, but uh, he, he had real potential. I was very close to signing him at that point as well. Uh, but unfortunately, um, I didn't, I, I don't know, I just never went with him for whatever reason. I think my purchase was, <laughs> or my non purchase rather, was justified as he. Uh, well, he's never really lived up to expectations, shall we, being at Southampton, very mediocre, where he could have been a title-winning uh, player at City or Liverpool. I don't know. Anyway, uh, last player, of course, that we uh, well, we still recognise, one of very, very, very few real-life players in the game still going in 2030. It's Jack Butland. Yes, the uh, goalkeeper who has uh, recently been called up to England Euro 2012 squad, and hopefully I'm not out of date when I do this. Hope to God he hasn't been injured, because <laughs> then I'm going to sound like an absolute idiot. But, uh, yeah, I'm just recording this on the day he has actually just been called up to England squad. Of course, John Ruddy is out the tournament, and Butland um, has been called up. Obviously, he's going to be number three. Um, but I actually didn't know he played for Southampton. He's only been here for, wow. Made 61 appearances. That's the most... I've never seen that. I've never seen 61. I don't even think Rafael Ramirez has played that many in one season. But he's only been here for a while. He was at Chelsea, as you can see, for a very long time. For over 10 years. And he stayed at Birmingham for quite some time. Nearly again, 10 years. But as I say, he is one of very, very few real players still going. I mean, the chances are that a real player is still going. It's going to be a goalkeeper. I think apart from perhaps Raheem Sterling. I know he's still going. But apart from that... That really is about it. So Jack Butlin there. Hopefully he won't uh, have a blinder today. I'm clicking them. What? Oh, that was a bit weird. Anyway, let's get on to it then. Uh, it is at St. Mary's, so this could be a decent game. But hopefully we should be too much for them. They are currently in the middle of the table, our Southampton. And, um, yeah, so they're, they're not doing that great. Um... So hopefully, yeah. Let's just see. I'm just trying to. Uh, I'm just trying to think. What the what what what, what I can expect from this because the Southampton are so unpredictable. It's why I'm kind of just struggling every word to remember because Southampton are very unpredictable. I don't know what to expect from them if I'm going to going to be honest. You know, on the day, I mean, as I say, they can turn up, but at the same time, I've beaten them five or six nil, and the team hasn't really changed that much. If I'm going to be honest, I mean. They've still been this mid-table team, and I think they will... I think that's what they're going to be like. I mean, they got promoted, I think... God, when did they get promoted? Quite a while ago. They've been in the Premier League for a while. Um, I mean, obviously, it's a completely different team to what they are in real life, of course. Like, Sir Adam Lallana and so on all have moved on for now. But here's Hasley. Puts it over the bar. Great build-up play, but uh, unfortunately a terrible finish. Uh, yeah, and, you know, Lallana moved on quite quickly. I think Ricky Lambert, well, he's quite... Actually, how old is Ricky Lambert? I can't remember, I don't know, whatever. But, yeah, I mean, obviously all of them have retired now, but, uh, you know, we are that far in. We are very much, uh, very much so very far in. But uh, it's it's an interesting point to make how Southampton have stayed up. And Hasley is offside. He hit the bar, I think, there or the post. But I'm, I'm very curious as to how, how Southampton have stayed up because I think they, they at a time, looked quite possible to break into that sort of big six that I've talked about before, you know, the City, Tottenham, Liverpool, United, Chelsea and Arsenal. Uh, and you know, there's been a several teams, believe it or not, two teams I would never have expected, and that's a terrible pass, and Ramirez, dear me. Oh my God, it's absolute chaos. Simon Moore off the line there. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we... we um, oh, I forgot what I was talking about now. 
Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, Huddersfield and Southampton were the two teams, and that's offside for Basto. <laughs> Goodness me. So Southampton and Huddersfield are the two teams, as I mentioned. They look quite uh, possible at times, but uh, I think they've faded away. Now Huddersfield is still putting up a decent fight. Uh, Newcastle are currently the, the team in pole position, if you will, for that sort of um, honour. You know, it's still early days, November, but then again, that's what I said back in uh, November of 2011, when I thought, oh, Newcastle, I'm going to stay the distance in real life in the Premier League, and look at that, they nearly got in the Champions League. Shows what I know. <laughs> Let's have a look, was he offside? Ooh, uh, yes. Is he? Or is that onside? I can't tell which one's which. I think he may have been on, you know. Of course, the game does still use um, real life... Well, not real life, I suppose. You know, it does have human error. It is quite rare. There you go, sadly. I imagine he would be booed if this was real. Now, I don't have any sound on because the sound effects are absolutely awful on this game. You know, it is literally just generic crowd noise. You know, that's on a loop every three seconds. But I imagine if this was real, he probably would be getting booed up the house, of course, because he uh, was a Southampton uh, lad. He is from Southampton. He played for them. For a number of years, uh, well, actually, you know, he played them for like three years, and then I bought him when he was like 17 for like a million pounds, which is the best million pounds I've ever spent ever in Football Manager, probably. You know, certainly like the best bargain I suppose I ever bought. I suppose in that sense, and that's a goal, and I think it is Luis Suarez, sadly involved in that. And it is the number seven who uh, who has got us in front here. So good start. You know, first real, I should not say first real attack, but re with real conviction, I suppose. That uh, Hassley chance wasn't really that much of a conviction. It came out of nothing. It was just a flick on over the defence. But this is the real first convicted conviction attack, and uh, we have scored the goal. Now, uh, let's see. Oh, he's away again. Could this be two? Where's he going? Dear me, he got that one horribly wrong. That that is very uh, that was very Luis Suarez very uh, like real life Luis Suarez um, because you know I mean how many if you ever watch him how many uh, if he goes through on goal he always try and go round the goalkeeper uh, just watch him next season watch and even if if you get a chance to see him play for Uruguay he will uh, he he always tries to go round the keeper I mean we all know how tricky he is I mean if you ever watch him in real life uh, you know he he tries to nutmeg everyone you know and he tricks everywhere you know he's okay he's not Cristiano Ronaldo. In the way that they don't get pulled, he doesn't pull them off every single time, like Ronaldo, pretty much. Um, but he still has, you know, a lot of tricks in the bag, and he does. To my, some, to my opinion, sometimes he does overdo them, because there are times it's like, oh, fuck's sake, uh, okay, uh, get ball forward. But yeah, with Suarez, it's like he he sometimes does overdo his tricks, and it's like you know you just want him to go forward, and he tries to just not make people. It's like no. Well, one nil down. Stop trying these stupid tricks. And most of the time, he tries them in his own bloody half, which is even more infuriating. Where's the defence? Well, that was poor. See what I mean about Southampton? They can't tear up. Sunderland's were fairly similar. I think it's just black and white stripes. I just don't like them. Oh, Sadler. <laughs> On this game, I just I, I can't play well against black and white. Uh, I say black and white. Sorry, red and white. Dear me. I think I'm looking at. I'm looking at. Uh, I looked at the. Uh, Liverpool thing, then it said black, so... Or is the colour black? Anyway, here we go. Midfield's been pretty shit so far. Ooh, Chad oh, Sadler. He pulls it across. Still nothing for him. Won't go in. He has scored many times against Southampton and Sadler. I think he's got a hat-trick. As well. <laughs> yeah, you can imagine that against your boyhood club. Scoring a hat-trick for the club that you now... Suppose... Support, I guess. I mean, his favourite clubs are Southampton and, and Liverpool, so I suppose put them on equal footing in a way. Is Castillo and Suarez with the tap in? It's back to two. And there's uh, Castillo and Suarez. Decent partnership, these two. I tell you, they they can spring a decent partnership when when they want to. <laughs> I think they just need to like get used to each other. I mean, Fredinho has been off. He started well, Fredinho, but he's been off the boil. But these two now, you know, pretty similar age, and um, they can. They can do well, the pair of them. And I'm excited to see, you know, I brought them in at the same time. I think they are, to say, roughly the same age. Give or take a year or so. So, yeah, I'm really uh, I'm really happy with what I've got here. Oh, and there's another one. It's been knocked in and Hasley finally does have his goal because I've been waiting for him. He's had... <coughs> excuse me. He had blasted 
the one over the bar at the start of the game. He's had one that hit the post, but turned out to be offside. But now there you go. He knocks it in here at the back post. It's a ball across by Shimpy. It's a diving header. It's a great finish. And that's 3-1 in half time. Well, it looks like it was going to be 1-1 at half time. It's actually 3. Fantastic. So let's get the team talk. Uh, just say so pleased how things are going. Now, um, this has brought me on to something I, I, I wanted to talk about just really quick. I'll probably talk about it again in probably a few episodes time or later on in the series when uh, we hear a few things about it. But uh, FM13, of course, it's the summer. Premier League season's over. It's like, well, what next? Owen Castillo is offside. Um, you know, what next? What, what can happen? And I was uh, browsing Reddit before and, uh, and <coughs> FM Scout. And a lot of people talk about how we want to see more dynamics and just general better interaction. I think this is something that, you know, obviously has been asked for in FM for years. Just to, just, I suppose just to constantly improve it, you know, just keep adding things to what we already have. You know, it's like layers, just keep adding stuff and stuff and stuff until, you know, we, we, uh, until we're happy for another year. And I think that's what will happen, you know, the interactions. I think the one that obviously everyone highlights, I suppose, is, is um, press conferences. Everyone highlights these as quite, you know, Oops, that's quite chorish at times, and I agree with them. I think press conferences are a pain; they are an absolute chore, and I don't like them. And either you know, change it to where interaction becomes fun again. You know that we can actually, you know, there's a lot of variation to the interaction. Oh, Suarez close, goes closer to us to his uh, hat trick there. You know, so make it like good. You know, we actually something we want to do. Otherwise, just get rid of it completely. Because I mean. No, I mean they, they they seem to just wind you up half the time. Like I I look at uh, like like it, it, you tell the assistant manager to do it. Like I tell Stephen Jarrett to do it. No matter what how good they are, they will always come out with some stupid, idiotic response that no one will ever in the right mind say in real life. You know, say how does it feel to concede a goal in ninety second minute? You can just when on earth would Stephen Jarrett go? I feel distraught. When would he ever say that? No one in the right mind would say that. How on earth does Castillo miss that? You know, no one would ever say, I feel distraught. I just don't understand. I, I don't get it. It, it. it kind of baffled me, that one, to be honest. So, yeah, if, if, you, if you think... Um, I agree. If you agree with me that that should be changed, please say. Another one, of course, as well, is uh, something big, is um, 3D match engine. That's always, you know, people want to see a new, a new one on that. I mean, I personally will probably still stick to 2D. Uh... Uh, well, I might do. I'll, I'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll see how good the three D match engine is. If it's similar to what we already have, then I'm probably still going to stick with two D. And Castillo cannot score. I'm going to take him off then. Um, he's had a decent game to be fair, Castillo. Just couldn't hit the target. So yeah, they're the big two. Obviously, if you have other things you want to talk about, then feel free to say. I mean, there's plenty of other things that we can, of course, talk about that I'm not going to be able to fit in in the next two minutes or so. But uh, anyway, once we can finish this game, absolutely off here with uh, one more goal. So I'd like to box it. Ooh, and, oh, Jack Yelka. I don't think that's the son of Phil Jack Yelka. <laughs> of course not, because it always uh, shares similar surnames. But um, that was an alien own goal. And there goes Fredinho now. Come on, box it in, and maybe we can finish the game off. Or Suarez to get his hat trick. No, I think that's going to happen, is it? But still, nevertheless, a good win. And now we'll have a look at the league table. It was pretty. You know, they, they, they turned off for about half an hour and then once that third goal went in, I think that killed the game off, to be honest. So there we go. Uh, Suarez, man of the match, 3-1 against Southampton after they brought it back to 1-1. Uh, it looked like a decent game, but unfortunately, uh, we killed it off with two quick goals. So I would say, I mean, uh, if, you know, if, if there's anything you want to see, particularly in FM, just say in the comments. I mean, I'm, I'm really interested to see what you guys want to see because um, I've, I've gone over loads of different forums, I mean, FM Scout, FM Base, I was on Reddit, Football Manager Games, right on Reddit, and um, a lot of similar things, you know, such as interactions, improvements, um, you know, talking about press conferences, uh, transfer system improvement, even general layout improvement, edit improvement, uh, match engine improvement, so, you know, all sorts of different things, I want to know what would you say the priority uh, in particular, but... Uh, yeah, um, just uh, give us uh, give us a comment if you want. You know, so I want to I want to see what the general consensus is, specifically above the um, about from the YouTube FM community because I'm really interested to see what that is. By the way, there's one thing I want to say before I go. Ezekiel Alonso uh, is not happy. 
it's really difficult to give him a football. He wants first team football, but that centre of midfield is so competitive. It is brutally competitive. And I cannot give him first. It's like, oh, I can, but you know, I've put him in the reserves because he's a twat. But, you know, it is so difficult to give him first team football at this sort of stage. Because, you know, like, I mean, I'll just go over the squad as well. You know, who is in the centre midfield? We've got Masari, Lopez, Brown, Matei, Maya, Guyan, and Maloney. So we had a lot of players. Anyway, uh, that's just an idea of what I've got to, uh, what I'm going to do. So leave your comments on what you think uh, should be the main thing in FM13. What's the priority? Um, I'll leave you with this look at the league. And with that, I will see you next game, which is going to be against Derby. So hit that like button, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.